On this episode of What's On Your Plate, I have two special co-hosts and meatloaf. Healthiness isn't just a mindset, it's a lifestyle. When I started my fitness journey, I realized that one of the best ways to improve my health was to change the way I approach food. People tend to think that eating healthy means you can't enjoy what you're eating. So we started a catering company to show that good food and healthy living can go hand in hand. Join us as we combine food and fitness and find out what's on your plate. Hello, everyone, and welcome to What's On Your Plate. I'm Junior Wakefield, along with... I'm Lauren Seary. And I'm Michael Price. I have two special co-hosts today, and uh, glad you guys are here to hang out with us. Hmm. Thanks for having us. Good, good. So, uh, Lauren, you just finished the Junior Wakefield show. How do you feel? That was awesome. Good. It was a lot of fun. Good. You just, <laughs> you just went from one studio to the next. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Michael, how did you get here? Um, I rode in on a dart bus, but <laughs> I just came here today to try some food. You came here today to try some food. Well, good. Well, you get the opportunity. You're sitting next to Lauren. So that's take advantage of that one. <laughs> and uh, also you get to try some incredible food by an incredible person today. That's me. I'll, I'll take that one. Well, good. Well, Michael, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into the, get into the food before we get into the shout outs and, and talking and different things like that. <clears throat> uh, traditional meatloaf. There's a little different spice to it. I also have some uh, garlic, cheddar, mashed potatoes, some green beans with a little special spice for it, and then also a corn queso that I made. So I want you to try that. And then a uh, peach cobbler with phages Greek yogurt. Let me throw a shout out there too. So Michael, so Lauren, uh, what do you think about this plate? I think it looks amazing. You know, it looks well balanced. You've got your veggies, you've got your meatloaf, your potatoes. And then Greek yogurt instead of whipped cream with the peach cobbler. So that, you know, helps with the extra additional sugar. Now, both of you guys, um, when you're working out, you've made some massive changes when it came to your weight loss, massive changes when it came to your eating habits. Um, so what are some of the benefits during both of your journeys? What are some of the things that you learned that you can share with other people when it comes to eating? Because... If you look at that plate, you do have your vegetables, you have the potatoes, you have the meatloaf, uh, you have the chips. What's one of the things that you could say if a person is going to eat something like this on a regular basis? Um, everything in moderation. I think portion control is huge, mm -hmm. huge, 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 huge. I when I when I first started really adjusting my eating habits, I had a little food scale in my kitchen. I would literally weigh out everything. Uh, until, you know, I got used to what the portion sizes looked on our plates because our portions are massive. Mm -hmm. And that's, an, and, you know, it's an American thing. You know, mm -hmm. you go Definitely. anywhere uh, anywhere else in the world, their portions are normal size. And, you know, we just have grown accustomed to it. But that right there is a big deal for sure. Michael, what are some of the things that you learned uh, during your journey? Well, she hit it right on the head. I mean, that's a massive plate of food. I couldn't, I shouldn't, and I won't eat all of that. And but you want to taste it. I am going to taste it. There's a difference. When you enjoy food and you use it as a fuel, not just to fill, there's a difference. And that's what helped me with my weight loss. Now, I have a, I have a question before we or you get into tasting it. Now, Lauren, you talked about going through postpartum depression in the last show mm -hmm. that we did. Mm -hmm. Was food something that you used as part of your depression? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Okay. But not... But and not in the rhyming, I mean, you know, like eating like tubs of ice, just like an excessive amount of eating, mm -hmm. like binge eating, I guess is the mm -hmm. way that you could. Most definitely. Is the way you could describe okay. it. Michael, what about you? Yeah, I like to eat. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> it's, it's comforting. It fills you up. It tastes good. It's something people can indulge in. Mm -hmm. And it's an addiction, yes. in my opinion. Yes, 100%. Now, when you say it's an addiction, and so you would eat, so say you ate a meal like this, you ate the whole thing. Is it, when you say the addiction part of it, does it mean that you have to have something else to satisfy you, to satisfy a craving? I mean, where, I, do, you, where do you go into that one? I think just like he said, it's a comfort thing. You know, the more you eat, the more, the better you feel until, you know, until the next day when you're like, oh my God, I just ate all that food. Okay. And it's hard to stand, like, once you're like, 
once you find, once you figure out how it comforts you, you just keep going and going and going and going because you want to just continue to feel that. And people don't recognize people don't recognize that full feeling. They just keep going. Right. Okay. Even if you're full, you're still eating, and that's that's yeah. the bad part. Now, both of you got tired of being tired, of feeling a certain way. Mm -hmm. What was the trigger for for both of you uh, individually? What was the trigger that says, you know what, I'm done. Enough is enough. Just looking at just looking at myself in the mirror and seeing I didn't have I didn't have any energy. I didn't, you know, none of my clothes fit. I didn't like the way that I looked. I didn't want anybody to see me. I didn't even want my husband to see me. And, you know, it was finally it just got to the point where I was like, I cannot live like this anymore. Okay. Michael? I was trying to get into a size six dress. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I just Wait, Lauren, are you size six? No. I'm a zero actually. See? Well, I'm big. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I got to have goals. I got to have goals. <laughs> okay. okay. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know. You want to be real with you? I don't know. I woke up one day and I was like, I'm tired of this. And I just made a change. Wow. I don't know what triggered it. I'm also one of those people, if I make a change, it's drastic. And it is life-changing. And I completely changed whatever I'm doing. So to say I'd been that way for a little while, I just got up one day and said, I'm done. Okay. So, and then I'm going to jump back before you taste into the food real quick. Your highest weight was? Mine, 434. 434. Yeah. And you're at right now? 262. Wow. Oh, Amazing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Lauren, what was your highest size? 174. Uh, oh, oh, no, size? Said, Wait, that, oh, girl. <laughs> still. Oh, I, I mean, I don't care. Okay. I'll admit it. Yeah. Okay. What, yeah, I was at 174. And to where you are now? 123. Incredible. Yeah. Congratulations Thanks. on both of you. Both of you. Thanks. Well, good. Well, Michael, let's get into, get into some food. You know what? The Before we get into the food, both of us in our stories, it's because of you. That's so true. So we, appre <laughs> uh, stop. we appreciate a, yeah, there you. you. There you go. And your cooking. Yes. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you for the Just time. don't do this very often because I, I don't want to get back to it. <laughs> you, you, you won't get back to it. Right. You won't get back to it. Right. Well, good. Well, come on. We'll Can go ahead and grab in? the fork and taste it. Just yes. tell me. Tell me some of the flavors that you think. That's <laughs> you put that. <laughs> I thought he was going to start with that. I, I did too. Like, yes. I thought about I really thought about you it. You should have. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a crunch I hear from those green beans? Fresh. It's still. Really crunchy. Still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we put this out here, I put this out here, what we did the other show, was about an hour ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can still hear the crunch. Mm -hmm. What's the spice on there? I don't Is know. Is it a secret? It's a secret. It's got a little, little spice to it. It has a little kick to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it, but it's very mild. Okay. But, like, it's not hot. It's okay. very mild, but it's got flavor. Good. Mm, it's good. Mmm. Those are good. I'm gonna take some of these to go. <laughs> if there's any left, yeah. you can have as much as you'd like. You can take that plate. <clears throat> well, I think I might get in trouble if I steal their plate. Yeah, you'll be all right. Under the chef. Meatloaf is sweet. Good texture. Soft, but firm. And taste the. That's not ketchup, is it? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Is it ketchup or is it barbecue sauce? It's too sweet to be ketchup. <laughs> Let me find there out. There you go. Take another bite. <laughs> Take another bite. I'm looking all crazy on your show. That's all. No. <laughs> that's all right. You're good. Is that bacon? Yes, it is. Mm. <clears throat> that's good. It's real good. It's got a little kick to it, too. It does have a little kick to it. Yes, but it, it does. It, <clears throat> And creeps up on you. Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call it a corn queso? A corn queso. Oh, yeah. That is delicious. That's dangerous. That you sit down in front of a Cowboys game, mm -hmm. Cowboys and <laughs> <laughs> chips and queso. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You would yeah. eat the whole thing. That's, That's true. dangerous. Well, good. Now go ahead and try the peach cobbler. Yep, I got a different fork for you. Oh no, I'll use the same fork. You I'll use the same fork. There you go. <laughs> it's 
first, I'm going to taste this crust. That's the best part. It is the best part. I think so. Mm, what do you think? Good. That's good. Good? Mm -hmm. Even with the yogurt, it's good. Good. Even good. With the yogurt. Good. Lauren, any questions for Michael? How long? When did you start your weight loss journey? Excuse me. Gosh. 17. Okay. January, March of 17, I think. 2017. Yeah. So it's been three years. That's amazing. Three, almost four years now. 200 pounds in three years, almost four years. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's inc incredible. Yeah, that really is incredible. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Oh, I'm sure. <clears throat> but you did it. The, the very first start, I did an all-liquid diet to try and lose 40 pounds real quick, and oh, it was okay. one of the hardest things I ever did. Oh, I'm sure. I couldn't do it again. No. Did it work? Did it work, though? I mean, did you get the 40 pounds? And then you went I mean, it did. When you're at 434, 40 pounds is yeah. nothing, nothing to lose. Right, yeah. You know, you're still almost Just 400 cancer. pounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But your body resets. You can start incorporating things back that are yeah. healthy. You start walking. You start working out. You just start down that path, and your whole lifestyle changes. <clears throat> but it was, it was in, when you have, I can't say I don't hear, when you have nothing solid going in, I mean, it's it's a whole. Oh, thing, sure. You could. Well, I will say, uh, before we close that, I will say, I, I was with uh, Michael in Montana, and Michael did climb uh, a mountain. And I thought that was impressive, especially from where you were to where you are now. Um, That's amazing. And plus with the elevation and stuff being so yeah. high, it was tough to breathe. But, uh, you know, I applaud you for your journey. I applaud Lauren for her journey. I, I, I appreciate both of you guys being here, which is great. Uh, you'll be seeing Lauren more and you'll be seeing uh, Michael come out to eat as he continues to eat on camera. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank you guys for being here. It was awesome. It was a pleasure was being fun. with you guys today. It was great. Um, as I said, we'll be seeing more of you. Um, I want to thank uh, Real News PR and the staff for allowing us to be able to do this show. Uh, also, just to be able to cook the food, it, it's always a pleasure um, to be able to be here, to have Andrew, our producer, back there. So big shout out to him. Um, thank Jeff Curley for giving us this opportunity. Josh, Sarah. Um, thank you to Lauren, Siri, and her husband and her daughter and her mother and her family for supporting her and helping her beat her today. Uh, thank you to Michael Price for being here. And I got to throw this out here so he doesn't get in trouble. Heritage Auctions, thank you for allowing him to be able to come here today. And uh, <clears throat> any last words for you guys? No, thank you for having us. This cool. is awesome. Thank you so much. Cool. Well, thank you guys very much. Um, this, is, this is what was on your plate. And uh, it's just saying catering kitchen.com. And again, we want to thank everybody, appreciate it, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and reach out to us to cater your next event.